So another interesting point that came out of the conversation yesterday, which is very close to my heart. As many of you know, I come from higher education background. I've worked with various institutions and uh, universities in the US and the Middle East. I've traveled globally to deliver sessions to universities. And so I know in higher education, I know what it gives you, what it does not give you. And what I can tell you for a fact is that we really need to start reframing and looking at different ways to alternative ways to higher education. The whole concept is not going away anytime soon. It's here to stay. It's a business. It's a big business globally. It's not going away. And I'm not, that's, that's not my aim here. My aim here is to say, is it for everybody? And the fact is, it's not. Is it for everybody to go to a four-year degree? Do you really need a master's or an MBA to get that next job? Maybe, maybe not. In the corporate world, maybe you need to tick that box. But with everything that's happening right now, I would really closely watch what's happening because I guarantee you, things in terms of uh, what what is required for education are going to change. What is required from a worker in general? How is talent being recruited is going to change. And it's uncomfortable conversations that we need to have and people don't want to have it oftentimes because it's like, well, it doesn't make me feel good if I just spend all this money and time studying something and it may not be relevant. There's always value that you're gonna get from an education experience, but is it gonna give you that thing that you're aiming for, which is like a job or a promotion? Maybe, maybe not, depends on various factors. And when it comes to graduates, like if you think about it, this is very new and this is something that one of the girls brought up in yesterday's discussion is that students before, like 70, 60 years ago, right? We used to do apprenticeships. Like we used to study in a class and then after the class, like we got, we get a little bit of theory, beautiful. And then we actually go to that advertising agency or go to that plant or go to that car dealership or go to that marketing department or the doctor's office, etc. And we actually practice. We have apprenticeships. There was less time spent in classrooms, more spent time spent on the actual job, actually preparing. So, and today what we're doing is we're sitting in the classroom learning business administration, which is still one of the more popular uh, majors around the world, which is just mind bottling to me because it doesn't teach you business. It doesn't teach you entrepreneurship. Take it from me. It's uh, entrepreneurship is just like a whole different animal. And yet it's still one of the most popular ones. And then we're graduating students with zero work experience because oftentimes it's not even required, right? So, and then on top of that, uh, you know, we have companies that are offering internships, but then it's like, are you really teaching them what they need to know? Are you really investing the time to to help the students learn and to mentor them and to develop them? Or are you sort of just asking them to do random things without actually spending time with them? Or the, the you know, some of the consultancies around the world, they're just kind of bombarding these students with, with certain things just to test them, to see if they can handle the anxiety of being in a consulting world. Like, it's ridiculous. And then, and then when you graduate, your salary is not really great either. So it's like, you know, it's just all questions to me. Like, what are we really preparing our future generations for? Because it's definitely not the future of work. Because what we're doing and what that looks like is way worlds uh, apart. So anyway, a lot of question marks, uh, question marks in my mind. Curious what you guys know about it, think about it or know about it. Feel free to share. I'm all ears. Um, but I think that we need to start having uncomfortable conversations and uh, we're going to be forced to have them anyway because we need to completely rearrange the way we're doing higher education, the way we are, the way we are doing talent recruitment, the way we're doing internships, what we're studying, why we're studying, etc. So I think all of that is going to blow up very fast um, in the coming few months, maybe a year or two, and we're going to be forced. So I recommend you start thinking about these topics now to get ahead of the curve.